is going on here? He's talking Joe with G.I. Joe Berg and Ben's Toy Box all in one. Yeah, and we're in the same house. This... <laughs> That's actually happening, people. It's not like a trick of uh, technological <laughs> magic. Yes. I'm sorry, but where, where are your masks, gentlemen? This is clearly, you know, it's not a socially distant uh, environment. <laughs> oh, 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 jeez. Yeah, we're yeah, good. We need a uh, one Boba Fett and one Stormtrooper, please. How, how do we find you, S. Jugs? Do we find you well? Very well. You um, get hell. <laughs> I don't know, gents. Uh, yeah, life ticks on, man. It's so weird, so different. My, I, I, I could not have anticipated my life looking like this uh, just seven months ago. But yeah. here we are. I'm yeah. down under. You fellas are in, in Blighty, and that's an A-Wing. That yeah. is an A-Wing, yes. It's where we were talking about this <laughs> offline before we start recording, and a uh, great, great vehicle. Apparently, Ben, as a child, could conjure up this, you know, on a piece of sketch paper. This is the kind of spaceship that he would just draw. Let's have uh, <laughs> Just off the cuff. Let's have a look at the pilot, as, as A-Wing a pilot. Oh, well, this is that Power of the Force 2 era where everyone was roided up. Yeah, the jack is up. enormous. No, no. But look, I'm glad I have him because, as with most pilots, you just put him in the cockpit and forget about it. Leave him be. Is that a it's snap not a figure that, that you would display separately. Hmm? How did the cockpit shut there? Is that a snap button to shut it? Oh, this is the greatest. Are you talking? I mean, for a, a smaller toy than obviously the B Wing, it still has, you know, all those nice Kenner touches. Yeah. Nice landing gear. Uh, when I used to play, um, I was a big fan of uh, X-Wing and TIE Fighter on the PC. And those... And th this thing, this thing owned, bro. It was so, it was so fast. fast. Yeah, fast. Yeah. Low on shields, but um, fast. Concussion missiles, which could actually yeah. hit small targets as opposed to just, you know, yeah. get lost. But if this is not Steve's toy box. Put that generally. back on the shelf. <laughs> and uh, let's pull out what so, you got for me. Now we're coming to the end of my toy box. We've got a, we've got a handful of figs here. I'm there's gonna, no bucket in sight. There's no bucket in sight. Going to start with this guy. Now he lives in my display cabinet because I am very fond of Destro version two. Um, what do we think of this figure? Are you a version one guy or are you a version two guy? I have never had the version two up until very recently. And it is difficult. You cannot deny that it's a very ornate figure. It's beautiful. Close. Look at all the touches. You know, yeah. the first figure was a home run and this one doesn't let down the side. Now, so he, much detail he came and mixed medium. I mean, the, the chrome face and the, the soft goods. Yeah. Fantastic. Your cloth is fraying quite a bit towards the bottom there. Yeah. Well, uh, Destro sees some action, man. But, um, you, could, you could only get him with his, um, what was it, his glider, his, what was that thing? <laughs> you got to say it with a Spanish accent, Ben. It's the, the spoiler. That's the spoiler. it. So you could never get him standalone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now he's and they didn't go, go back nothing. to the well. I mean, that sculpt wasn't revisited, I don't think. And you've got your hook is still, still there. Very hooky. Very hooky. Very ceremonial. Oh, you know, he's got this yeah. chariot, yeah. which has dubious actual like warfare application, even though it's armed. But he himself isn't armed. Easy, easy cheese. Like that sword. Did you ever use that sword in combat? Uh, no, I actually only found it the other day. Um, <laughs> I never really used the sword. Uh, check the asymmetry, man. His boot is rolled down on the one leg. And it's pulled up on the other. Yeah, what is that? Like, is that West Coast? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show your affiliation. I don't know, man. Maybe it's got something to do with the scabbard getting, you know. It's just like a cyclist. He pulls down his, uh, his, his or he pulls up his sock to tuck his pant leg in. Genuinely, I, I actually do. I, this is my Destro. This is my version. I have to say, I do prefer him. I prefer the, yeah. kind of the, the bling of the gold. Um, There's loads of these really cool pipings all around the arms. Um, mm. It goes round to the, to the back. The, the piping uh, goes around the back. 
It's everywhere. It's really nice. Lots of uh, moulded pieces. Surely really the sco this sculpt is way more advanced than the version one. The version one is absolutely. Really dating. There's nothing going. Yeah, and version one, for all its sort of mystique, is a bit dumpy in terms of the way yeah. the chest. You know, it's it's painted chest, and sometimes that paint fades. You know, the low neckline, take it or leave it, is Destro a club, what's it, club 50, whatever, 54? <laughs> I tell you, studio, studio 54. Studio 54, thank you, Chief, to the rescue. This, this <laughs> You're guy, a disco man, aren't you? I am. This guy likes the um, classified bling, what's the title? Profit director. Profit director. God, it's an abomination, in my opinion. But, um, Pimp Daddy Destro. Come Profit on. director is just a, a PC... Uh, acronym do you own that but yeah man this guy's fantastic he is fantastic i freaking love him i love him in my cabinet i love that he's mine i think he's top he's, 10 for me he's my childhood one so a lot of action would you say he's in good nick from what you can see oh yeah yeah, yeah. Most of it, has he got anything these little things here would they be gold dots originally yeah. yes yeah. and they yeah. are present like gold paint particularly flakes off, you know, easily. So if you don't have too much black throwing, showing through the gold, then yeah, he's definitely a good Nick. Would he have come with anything else other than the sword? No. No, just, Crazy, yeah. just his thing. Not even sculpted wrist rockets. I think that's probably the only notable omission. Like that's standard Destro armament. And the comic books armed that version up with the wrist rockets. But the figure doesn't reflect that. It's the only knock against it. Oh, do you know where that's from, Ben? Well, no, you're going to have to educate me. So this is Lamprey, yeah? So, Very good. So pilot of the Hydrofoil, yes. but this is version two. But, yeah, he came, but, instead of a Hydrofoil, he came with a sound backpack. <laughs> he pressed the buttons and you got ah, the... Yeah. What, was it gold? What color was it? I think the Vipers was gold and maybe judging by the accessory that you've got there, I think his might have been black. Yeah. No, 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 wrong ones. These are, that's Major Blood, yeah? Very good, yeah. Um, what about this? The other is Laws. Yeah, I think that's it. Mm. Dude, or this? That's Cobra Commanders. You must have used a screwdriver to get that guy loose. <gasps> Still works. How is that possible? <laughs> uh, what's more impressive is the fact that the batteries haven't corroded the uh, yeah the electronics. Very impressive. Pretty big. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's ridiculous. No. Yeah. Off it goes. Yeah. So, um, is that his gun? Is that the gun he came with? That is, isn't it? So these guys came with a whole mess of accessories, which were all not unique to them. They were reuse accessories. So a lot yeah. of Battle Force 2000 stuff got reused with them. And in that case, it was an Orgahide sniper rifle, uh, which is a fantastic gun. And I'm glad it got reuse, but yeah, it doesn't really scream Lamprey. I mean, okay, we've got to talk about it. How do we feel about the orange? I mean, she's not into it. Well, we've seen another the... orange figure. Annihilator. Yeah. So, he, did he wear it better? I think he probably did. Look, the original was figure. dressed up in silver. Yeah. Okay. This is a better figure than Annihilator. He's got a decent sized head on him. Yeah. Um, in fact, now that you mention Annihilator, there are great similarities, but Lamprey just does it better. I quite like the way that he's got glass on the back as well. Is it though? Well, I don't know what it is, but... But yeah, it matches the, the, the sort of the... The, the swatch of the original in yeah. that, yes, that the top and the front are the same color. Detail on the ankle knife. Yep. And, Very nice. and nice. how's his Cobra logo on the chest? Fine. Beautiful. Uh, they chose to put a Cobra logo, which is great, but they omitted like the lamprey had this cool, like it was a beret wearing skull with a knife in its mouth as their kind of unit patch. So cool. That was the original. But as for the colors, yeah, Chief, I mean, the original was so garish anyway, being silver. I like to think of these guys as like wearing like fire retardant, uh, like Formula One yeah. jumpsuits, basically. Seems like an odd so choice. that color works. Seems like an odd choice to have this figure paired in that wave with the sound backpacks. I don't know. No? So weird. Yeah, no, no, but it's hey. weird because he's not, an, he's, 
He's not the character, is he? I mean... Kind of makes you want to look at the original file code. Don't suppose you have that to you happen. You ever see this have guy? You no, don't get me upset. Um, <laughs> do you Sorry. ever see this guy in a hydrofoil in this version? Mm -mm. No. No, I, I don't think so, no. Because maybe that was, like, as Joseph was saying, maybe his file card would suggest he was a different specialist. So maybe he wasn't driving... Yeah. piloting hydrofoils in this story. Yeah, because, I mean, the, the hydrofoil was released so many years before, there uh, wouldn't be that association because, obviously, the toy wasn't being sold currently. I think this guy might have been used as a pilot for the Cobra Piranha, which is small. This trunk. guy's it's, growing it's, on me. He's oh, good. growing on me. When you get but do you, know, do you know this boat that I'm talking about? The hydro, uh, It looks like the hydrofoil in, in that it's maroon, but it's a single seat little hot rod. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you got down there? Ah, <clears throat> uh, okay. I got beef with this figure. Uh-oh. Duke! <laughs> have, no dick have, Duke. Have they made a good Duke? It's the head sculpt. It's appalling. Follow it's, me, man. Ha-ha. <laughs> he, he's got one of these weird heads that doesn't go up or down. Oh, heavens, Ben. You're just a latter-day G.I. Joe fan. It's just a like, really that's how they were back in the day, man. Complete reissue of the original mold. He's got no thumb. I mean, that's my fault. He's got His crotch has been blasted off. So, quick question here. Is this a reissue of Airborne's backpack? Well, Duke had the same backpack as oh. Airborne with one major difference. Airborne's had this sort of, like, cross reinforcement on the inside. Okay. Dukes didn't have that. Also, there's a slight change in tone, but I think the green one, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it has that reinforcement. My Duke is from the cartoon, and he always had blonde, sort of yellow hair in the cartoon. This just guy just doesn't, he's not Duke to me. <laughs> well, Tiger Force was famous for switching hair colors. I mean, is that Duke good old Out, Outback went from being a ranger or red hair Did to you have uh, any this, interest in that for the Christmas. Though? I can't imagine. See, I never had the original Duke, and obviously, I never had this guy either. This was your guy, so I never had much association to Duke anyway. I think it's a cartoon of... thing because he he is the cartoon. I mean, he is totally. the main main guy. He's an important figure, and I felt annoyed. And he's getting down with Scarlet, man. I, I mean, I you can't really over, overlook a, that. A figure that represented him. But I quite like the deco here. I do quite like this paint scheme, the colours. Yeah. The little splash of red on the collar's nice. But it's ruined when you get to his mm. head. Just a, <laughs> just a bit. Maybe, but I do like, I do like the, the colours here. Yeah, his slacks are great, and I would wear them out. Um, <laughs> I really Excellent. would. Oh, actually, can we bounce off are to somewhere else? Are you a dude else? fan, Jobs? <laughs> Uh, no, not particularly, but I do like version one Duke. Um, and, and the reason I have that Tiger Force Duke is because it is the Duke featured in the Nintendo game, which gentlemen, if you like 8-bit platformers, you can't go wrong with that game. The only game we had was C64 and it was when you were the, the Ore Striker. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Games that you, you're talking, I don't think they came out here. Right. Well, well we never had the only there. reason... Sorry. The only reason we got them was because we didn't have Nintendo. We had like Famicom and um, like, uh, yeah, generics or like sort of Chinese knockoffs of the Famicom. So those cartridges were dime a dozen. Okay. Guys, ha -ha. do not know who this figure is. Um, he looks a little bit Tiger Forcey. He's not. I have no idea... What wave? Any? Do you know this guy? Do you remember getting him? No. Okay. God knows what. You want to take a stab, Chief? I've got no idea. Maverick. No. <laughs> um, okay, so it's a reissue, or not a reissue? It's an, a second version of a character that was introduced in 1986. Whoa. So I count that character. That character did not have a removable helmet. I am, we are drawing blank. And he's a laser trooper. He's a laser. This better not be, hang on. Laser. <laughs> the, cog, the cogs are turning. No, for some reason I thought you were going to say airtight, but that's not right. Um, Close. Is, no. Similar color palette. Uh, think lime green. 
Lunch oh, boys, lunch. I've stumped the band. Sci fi. Sci fi. Seymour Fine. That's the version we, I had, to be honest. We, we never had any version of sci fi. What does this guy come Well, well you're yeah. looking at him. <laughs> what, what does he come with, buddy? Excellent helmet, sort of silver optics, Go get and it, a mouthpiece okay, we with are a microphone. The helmet live. Then there's a post that comes off the back, which you can either run to his backpack or to his weapon. Chief, so you have these multitude where, options. It's a smiley face where Chief once was. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, it's well, the perfect got, substitute. Got, He's uh, always happy. Yeah, I've got some of Chief's bad yeah. painted backpacks here. But, well, oh, right. That would have been an accessory pack. Okay. Because, I mean, Beachhead's, that's his backpack, and it would have been... Released in black. I was. So yeah. I this stuff here. No, I can't find it. No, he's balls that's, that's deep the, in the weapon. I, I have his weapon. I'll show it to you. I, I mean, I feel nothing for this figure, Chief. It means nothing to me. I mean, this is making great content for me and <laughs> Chief. We are holding a piece of plastic here that I just. I don't remember. It came with a very nice rocket launcher. I now, mean, as, as far as spring-loaded weapons go. Was sci-fi yeah. version one an effective upgrade of Flash? That's why, yeah, when you said that, I, I thought Flash. Imagine this, but in silver. I got that. I got that. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, you could either run that to his optics or run, or run it into the backpack for, I suppose, power supply. But the rocket launcher also had a, a post that you could run a, a, a pipe to. This so. guy is just full of grit from a recent beach uh, setup that me and Chief did. Yeah. Yeah, it Boy. gets everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah. You've got to take him apart and give him a nice bath, oh. give him a scrub with a toothbrush. Right. Goodness. Now, we've go we go got... Name, name, him. name him. This is Maverick, isn't it? <laughs> it's Lord Dread from Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future, uh, which I believe you guys didn't get. Um, Dude, is this his right helmet? Is this knock, Knockdown? Yes. Knock knockdown, fantastic, yes. Well done, Chief. Just, guys, this helmet, I can't it's just gone believe stiff. It. it doesn't come off, it's moulded, surely. That's not moulded! Yes! Oh. Ah! It's on there like swimwear. I mean, it doesn't fit very nicely at all. Get out of there, Chief. All right. I think it might have shrunk over the years. <laughs> I don't want to break his head. Let's just, let's just leave him like this. The plastic, should, <laughs> the plastic on the helmet should be kind of rubbery. So maybe, you know, the, Chiefs, I mean, the cold I, temperatures of the UK have uh, had a number on it. Skull? What do you think about the skull? Love, love the um, I tell you, the he, blue. he's been doing a lot of leg presses. Look at those oh, quads. Bulging quads. Yeah. yeah. I have a theory that Battle there was supposed it. to be a play feature oh, in the Battle Force 2000 oh. figures. Look at his torso. He's been down the gym with Arnie. He's so, doing flies and wide arm pull-ups. Yep. So all of the BF2K guys are kind of bulky in the midsection. Yeah, yeah. Which leads me to believe that maybe there was a feature that got abandoned somewhere along the line. Like maybe they had it? a chest plate that opened up or something like... What was his specialty, this dude? Uh, Anti-aircraft. Anti-aircraft. So what's he doing? Targeting with this? Um... Each of the Battle Force 2000 guys actually were assigned a specific vehicle. Oh, so right. Knockdown, Knockdown would have been in the Sky Sweeper, which is yeah. a kind of anti-aircraft cannon. Right. Gee, you're right. I mean, his thighs are <laughs> Do you like <laughs> He's... No, not really. <laughs> he not never really. skips leg day. You're a, but you're a BF2000 fan, s -Jubs. Huh. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> oh, I don't know. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad they're dead. Oh, wait. <laughs> We've got someone coming in. Someone's coming in. The mothership. Hello, someone. Coming in the hizzy. Okay, let's keep the it M. going. Now, my knee-jerk reaction is, oh, hello, Wild Bill. But <laughs> I'd be bang wrong. Yes. And I'm switching that to say, bear with me. Chief, 
Go. On the, is this version two of this character? Yes, it is. Ruh. Do it. Come on. Do it. Wait, I've got to go deep. Hang on. Ruh, come on. Rakondo. Hey. Outstanding. That, that was just going in to the deep, deep, deep. The recesses. Five levels down Inception. I was at the base. You're in the pit. Level five of the pit. My God, he looks like Wild Bill. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. He's a nice figure. This, this um, camo style is so cool with the yellow. It's wicked. Is it a complete... They did a damn fine job with him. And he's a vehicle driver. When I was a kid, I always thought this was just a nice handbag for him. What's, what vehicle is he driving? <laughs> what vehicle is he driving? Uh, the Tiger Fly. So that is why you have that association with Wild Bill. Yeah, because I had flying, that. He's flying Wild Bill's old ride. And is he just a complete repaint of the original version one? Any, any changes to this mold? You've got to have him carrying it like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it is the same sculpt. But notice that the hat is blue. So that's another callback to version one Wild Bill. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are prototype shots of the tiger fly with a Wild Bill mm. in it. Yeah. And Ricondo is pictured riding the tiger paw, which is the ferret. He's got but he's in a completely deco. different deco. So like, yeah, there have been some interesting switches. Nice. It just occurred to me now, his, his pants are like Cringer or Battle Cat. Yeah. His face is incredible. And does his watch go all the way around? Strap. It does not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ben, aren't you taking marks off for the fact that he can only look left and right? Oh, Just man. like Duke. Why is his groin smashed in? All I would have been doing is flying him around. There's just no the reason. The Tiger Force guys, I believe, had a very bad track record with broken crotches. Oh, really? Is that fact? Yeah. That's why the Outback mm. goes for mucho bucks. Yeah, mine's got no dick. <laughs> Neither does your Duke. Okay, whilst we're doing... Guys with hats. Guys with sort of floppy hats. Pathfinder. <laughs> Hey, brother, Ben. Yeah. yeah. Did you like this guy? Well, yeah, but I think I just used him as like a gardener because he... He, <laughs> he is the weed whacker. Yeah. <laughs> he comes with that <laughs> awesome weed thing. He's like a bit of a knockoff <laughs> muskrat, isn't he? Oh, uh, no, not for me. He's got... I say gardener because he's also kind of got these baggy, almost like chainsaw trousers. <laughs> so... I think yep. he just, um, he's not busting cobras, he's busting gardens. Interesting deco pattern on those trousers. It's very night-based camo, I guess. That guy, like guys, look at him. He's actually really cool. Yeah, yeah, he's good. And uh, what, so he's got two pegs on the side of his waist there. Is that, I don't really know this figure. So weed guns. <laughs> okay. No, not weed guns. He comes with a very cool, it's in there, like a long, like rotor based thing that spins round. What else does he come with, S Chubs? I think he's got a also a kind of a mounted weapon that he would have on his side, which has a machine gun sort of bullet belt. Yeah. So is he um what's his actual role? Is he getting rid of mines and things like that? I, I think he was the, the jungle trooper of the year. You know, okay. I think it was nineteen ninety it was just one of those slots that needed filling. Like, what he needed in jungle? Weed whacker, of course. Yeah, weed I know whacker. very little about this guy. You probably, yeah, you're probably just as clued up as I am. So what year would he have been? 1990. 91? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I could do a quick double check. Very, I mean, those colours are lovely. Yeah, I, I like this guy. This guy Get looks, this guy in a swamp. This guy looks good. Put some shades on. Yeah, I like him. I don't think you'd like his when he's tooled up. I right. don't think you like all his weapons. But, okay. um, anyway. Oh, oh. Oh, God. Uh, okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give that man a machine gun. Yeah. I oh, he's got two. Two guns. Oh, you check that shit. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. And the weed whacker. And a backpack sort of ammo drum. Right. Dish, dish, dish. Okay, Destro's mate, and his name is... You can do this one, surely. Yeah, he came with the two-wheeled kind of motor, sit-down motorbike thing. 
And his name <laughs> is... Recumbent Bike. Wait. Wait, is it something like Lord? No. No? I think it's with D. Dark... Yes. Lon. Yeah. Very good. Yes! Had to get this Krypton guy. Krypton bomb, eh, Chief? <laughs> Had to get this guy because his yeah. Destro affiliation. Now, remind me of his file card. What is the relationship with Destro? It's interesting. What is it? Distant cousin. Has, yes, yeah. actually related. Ah, okay, let's actually just look at him in a 2020 context. I used to like him. His face is interesting. It's good. We covered what's, this guy on an episode of Talking Joe, one of your first episodes of Talking Joe. Um, yeah, man. What's up with his eyes? He's yeah. definitely interesting. Red eyes. What? Well, to debate whether he is, uh, he is a lizard man or whether that is all suit. Oh, okay. Um, now, to add some fuel to the fire of, of him not being entirely human, uh, a lot of Cobra Law kind of toys were pushed into the main line and the Cobra Law element was ditched. I always theorized that maybe Darklon was, was shoehorned into being Destro's cousin and being a human when, truth be told, you know, had Cobra Law taken off in a bigger way, yep. he would okay. have been in there. Can I just say, I you want to talk about grenades. he's got an, uh, a calf strap with 14 grenades around it. Do you know how much that would weigh? What's it? Especially if they're made out of gold. I mean, <laughs> Page of Blood topped him with 16. But that but, was over his whole body. Yeah, this is just on his, on his leg. Um, he can really have a, a, quite a bit of momentum with a, a right nice. kick. This is nice here, this ribbed, the way it just goes up higher than the other one. There's, there's a lot going on on this figure in terms of colours and moulds and... Lots of is it too much? It's not going on, yeah. Um, there might be too much going on on his legs, to be honest with you. I think his torso is great. Now, how, what, what was he doing in playtime? Uh, probably just flanking Destro, <clears throat> I'd imagine. Not much, to be honest with you. Did he come with a, a, a gun? Yeah, come with yeah, that. Yeah, this kind of rotary barreled. Um, I mean, oh, it okay. looks like it should. You, well, it should work similar to a um, an air airsoft gun or paintball gun. Why would gun? Chief have yeah, something? Gun. Why would he have something that doesn't belong to him in his house? Doesn't make any sense. Five well, finger discount, baby. Well, it just seen, doesn't. That's it. exactly it. I've seen. I've seen. I tell you what. Have you got Ripper? No, I had him. Yeah, ben, well, how, how come I don't know if you know this, this. How come you've got this? Oh, <laughs> damn. Well, uh, my theory is, I mean, we, we, we all know that Chief has an affinity for miniguns. Yeah. So he saw Darklon's rotary barrel thing, and he's like, well, shit. Uh, the last time I tried to put a minigun in a figure's hand, it snapped the thumb off because I was using a vehicle gun. So let me, let me help myself to this little handheld weapon, this nugget. <laughs> Oh. Clown nose. Ooh. Man, now I can't find his crotch. I've got his legs. I found a crotch over here. Whose is this one? Not his. Have you tried yeah. looking in the tomahawk uh, cockpit? Oh, I, he doesn't have it. I absolutely love Lift Ticket because he just, he's so real world and he's perfect for the tomahawk. In the tomahawk, you don't want a zany figure. You want a helicopter pilot that looks... You know, I'm actually glad that it's not, it's a molded, sculpted helmet. I think that's really cool. He's just brilliant. He, because of the green and stuff, when I played with him, I'd always make him like a real kind of RAF, tally ho, that kind of a guy. Nice. Um, Wonderful. But he's brilliant. His nose is a little bit scraped. Don't know why, but. Um, well, I'm, I'm about to ask, like if he was a dedicated vehicle driver, Seems you got some good mileage out of him anyway. Yeah. You clearly had him hopping out of the tomahawk at every occasion. He's such a good figure. I've got to fix him up. Do you I like him? I love this figure. I don't, Do you not? I don't know. Helicopter pilot. He just looks fantastic. He's the got a strange expression on his face. Damn straight. Yeah. I Why is his mouth all slanty? I think that's what put me off. Him. He looks a bit sly from Rocky. 
I I made an observation some years ago. I went to GI Joe Con, the last one in 2018, and they had the at the GI Joe declassified booth. They had the two ups, and one of them was a lift ticket. So in the molding process, they sculpt them twice the size of the mm -hmm. in, of the the final product, and at, at the two up scale, his expression makes a lot more sense. I think it's more like a like a skull, like ah. Uh. Yeah, this one's like he's been socked in the kisser. <laughs> exactly. You shrink it down and then put a gloppy flesh tone paint over it. And all of a sudden it doesn't work as well. You just can't, this guy, you know, he goes with the Tomahawk and for that vehicle, he is the absolute perfect pilot. He yeah. just, oh. The problem comes in when you have more than one Tomahawk. Who do you use? I know. First world problems, yeah. That's first world problems, my friend. Big time. More Big than time. one Tomahawk? Who is this guy? Um, I just found this. Well, Ben found this. Just wanted clarity. Water moccasin. This is something to do with the water moccasin. Damn straight. What yeah. does it do exactly? It skids off the underneath. It clips on. But doesn't what's, yeah. what's what's its purpose? I think it's a, a torpedo of some kind. Surface skimming. Okay. Yeah, and the tiger shark one was red. And also very good. And also, we found this backpack. Who does this one belong to? <laughs> Who would be peddling a backpack full of armaments? Oh, is it Destro's? Ah! Destro's oh, one. Destro, you scumbag. Oh, what is that? Come that's, on. A, that's a swap coming yeah. up there. There you go. Well, I'm glad you made the trip to Ben's house, Chief. You had to do this. Well, I'm looking at a massive pile of weapons here, so there will be another episode of Ben's Toy well, Box. Don't um, leave the house without taking back your, your cash. Well, you got no. a snow trooper. Oh yeah, I've got snow. Yeah, I've got the uh, the the crappy accessory pack blue ones. Oh yeah, right. Okay, grab an original. Right. So I'm going to rewatch uh, the the episode that we did for my weapons, and I'll pull out all the stuff that belongs to Ben. Then when we do his weapon one, we'll see. <laughs> oh sweet! Yeah, these were cool. Hey, do you, that do was... you need to collect the camo that came with the the figures? Do you remember the camo paint? Uh, when they were released carded back in SA, they took all the, the little incentives away. Oh, man. Yeah, they were very much more basic carded figures without the camo, without the mini vehicles. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, though. That is so sweet. Yeah. It's I, don't think the, I don't think the Persuader has ever looked better. <laughs> this is the scale. It's the best. Yeah. yeah, I can't believe it's got articulation. That's incredible. I know. It's full on micro machines, man. I've got the warthog as well, but the rockets are gone. What's this ski? For? Whoa! <laughs> What's this ski? For? Boom! That's Blizzard! That, oh, very good, yeah. Oh, oh, my Snake Eyes went down the banister and broke his crotch. Yes! Okay, this is Snake Eyes skiing down the banister. My idea. Go, Snake Eyes. Dude! Oh, yes! That was a good one! Yes! It Blizzard is a lovely figure. Don't have him. Part, doing this is very frustrating for all of those lost souls. I don't have Well, any. if you have a sampling of the accessories, finding the loose figure should prove... Fit. I'm not going to say inexpensive, but certainly... Yeah, I'm doing it with yeah. Night Viper because I love that figure and I have all of his accessories and um, the price for him without just loose is very cheap. Yeah, um, okay, good. Compared to when you want to get... Just make sure he's got both tabs on his helmet. On it, on it, almost, uh, yeah, I got caught out by that. Yeah, guys, Very that, good. that is it. Those all my figures. So we are doing a accessory weapons and accessories one though, yeah? Yeah, we'll do it. Brilliant, brilliant. There's a big pile there. It'd be fun to, uh, to, you know. Yeah, there's some Star Wars weapons in there. <laughs> yeah, all sorts. Uh, oh, good stuff, standing. good stuff. We will be back next time. We're no longer in the bucket, but we are still in Ben's toy table now because everything's just strewn around the table. Yeah. Make sure you check out that. My thanks to uh, this guy and this guy. Um, and yeah, keep it, keep it real on the Joe Berg and the Talking Joe. And uh, we've been Talking Joe slash G.I. Joe Berg and we're all at G.I. Joe. <laughs>